A new Cold War begins as NATO puts 300,000 troops on high alert and gains two more powerful nations as allies to combat Russia. Who is the King of the North that will battle against the King of the South of Daniel 11? This is a special presentation of the Cold Wars that will affect us, the Cold Wars that we are experiencing now. Kindly subscribe and share this video to all. Thank you friends for supporting this ministry. You can support this ministry via Patreon and via PayPal. This one is called The Cold Wars in the Final Days. Many have predicted the conflict in Ukraine will kick off another Cold War, and it already has. NATO has put 300,000 troops on high alert. Now a new Cold War has begun. This is NATO's quick reaction force. If Russia attacks a NATO member, the alliance can send troops more quickly. These soldiers will be based in Eastern Europe. Russia now becomes the most significant threat to this alliance. Finland and Sweden are said to be part of this military alliance and it's happening in record time. Will the war now spill beyond Ukraine? Putin attacked Ukraine to send a message to NATO that he wanted to stop its expansion, but rather he has accelerated it. NATO has two new allies in the fight against Russia, Finland and Sweden. They add to NATO's firepower with 33,000 soldiers plus more than 230,000 reserve troops. Finland and Sweden have more than 800 tanks, more than 200 combat aircraft and 170 patrol and coastal vessels. Russia will secure its borders with nuclear weapons. So the signals are clear, Russia is in no mood to forgive Finland and Sweden. NATO versus Russia, who will win? Who will surrender in the end? We don't really know friends, but let us keep our eyes open, be watchful and pray. But there is another war going on today, an evil greater and colder war, and it will continue until the second coming of Jesus, the two kings of Daniel 11, the king of the north, versus the king of the south. The timeline of the rise and fall of kingdoms on Daniel 2. Babylon, Medo-Persia, Greece, Rome, then papacy rules, then Christ's return is repeated on Daniel 11. Daniel 11 verse 3 and verse 14. And the mighty king shall stand up, that shall rule with great dominion, and according to his will. This represents kingdom Medo-Persia and was conquered by Greece headed by Alexander the Great on verse 14. And verse 14 to verse 22 is the ruling time of Rome. And in verse 23 to 31 is the political and spiritual conquest of the papacy. When Alexander the Great died, his kingdom was split into four parts. There was a king of the east, king of the west, a king of the north, and a king of the south. What ends up happening is that the king of the north and the king of the south ended up consuming the other two kingdoms, the east and the west, which left only a king of the north and a king of the south. The king of the north eventually came to represent the Babylonian territory. The king of the south represented Egypt. So as we see the king of the south and the north, this is the literal king of the north and the king of the south we will also see the symbolic and spiritual fulfillment of the two kings in the book of Revelation. Let us read Daniel 11 verse 14. And at that time of the end shall the king of the south push at him and the king of the north shall come against. Question, when did the time of the end begin? According to Daniel 11 verse 14. Answer, 1798. Let us study deeper about this wonderful prophecy in 1798 in Revelation 11 and see its prophetic connection to Daniel 11. Revelation 11 verse 2, But the court which is without the temple leave out and measure it not, 
for it is given unto the Gentiles. And the holy city shall they tread underfoot forty and two months. And I will give power unto my two witnesses, and they shall prophesy a thousand two hundred and threescore days, cloth in sackcloth. One thousand two hundred sixty days is equal to one thousand two hundred sixty literal years. Ezekiel four verse six. This is the period of the dark ages. Who are the two witnesses of Revelation 11? Jesus says in John 5 verse 39, You search the scriptures because you think that in them you have eternal life, and it is they that bear witness about me. We know that this is not literal people because nobody lives for 1260 years. 538 AD to 1798 is the duration of how the papacy reigned, the Dark Ages. The two witnesses represents the Word of God, the Old Testament and the New Testament. Revelation 11 verse 7, And when they have finished their testimony, meaning at the end of the 1260 years, this will happen next. The beast that ascended out of the bottomless pit shall make war against them, and shall overcome them and kill them. Verse 8, And their dead bodies shall lie in the streets of the great city, which is spiritually called Sodom and Egypt. Question, what nation embodied those two principles? It was the French Revolution, that the Bible was outlawed. It's because of what the papacy have done during the Dark Ages. General Berthier, Napoleon's general, entered the Vatican February 20, 1798, captured Pope Pius VI, and died in exile. Atheistic France rebelled against the Bible, and they outlaw God. Revelation 13, verse 3, And I saw one of his heads as if it had been mortally wounded. Atheistic France at that time of the end gave a deadly wound to the papacy who is the symbolic king of the north. As the title king of the north progresses through Bible prophecy, it was the papacy. Daniel 11 verse 44, But tidings out of the east and out of the north shall trouble him. Tiding, which means good news from the east and north, troubled King Nebuchadnezzar, the literal king of the north. What is this good news? Tidings that troubled King Nebuchadnezzar. It was from Daniel, Hananiah, Azariah, and Mishael. About the dream of Daniel too, that his kingdom Babylon will be conquered. He did not like the dream and its interpretation. So he sets up an image of worship in Daniel 3 and with a death decree. To whoever doesn't worship his image will be persecuted and will suffer death. The two nation army, Medo-Persia conquered Babylon and amazingly these were from the east and the north of Babylon. Medes are from the north and the Persian is from the east. Who ruled over them? Answer, Cyrus. Cyrus is a type of Jesus Christ that defeats Babylon. Jesus Christ will also defeat spiritual Babylon of Revelation 17. The title King of Kings only belongs to Jesus. The Bible is showing us that obviously Satan has a counterfeit to everything that God has done and will do to deceive the majority, people in the past, present, and in the final days. Satan is the king of the north who seeks to counterfeit the second coming of Jesus. Daniel 11 verse 40 says, And the king of the north shall come against him like a whirlwind with chariots and with horsemen and with many ships. What comes to mind? When you think of chariots and horsemen, land. What comes to mind when it says whirlwind, air? What comes to mind when it say ships, sea? In the book of Revelation, there are three powers that are described. The dragon, Satan, who is the prince of the air. The beast, Antichrist, from the sea, the papacy. The beast from the earth the land usa and apostate protestantism revelation chapter 16 the bible says that there are three unclean spirits like frogs come out of the mouth of the beast and out of the dragon and out of the mouth of the false prophet the impending wars with nato and russia is really tragic 
But it's not really the coldest war that we will experience. It is the war between Christ and Satan, Christ versus the Antichrist. Jesus predicted there would be wars and rumors of wars, but the end is not yet. And those that will endure until the end, they are the ones who will be saved. Kindly type in the comment section, Jesus Christ, my source of peace. Kindly share this video, friend. Share the love of Jesus today. And may we all continue to seek truth in Bible prophecy.